Stephanie, uh, I'm glad that we're able to have you because you have a bit more background in uh, weather than I do. So let's just talk about Hurricane Ida, especially as now we see it approaching even further inland here for all of our viewers with us. Yes, hello, Christy. Yes, this has intensified dramatically overnight, strengthening and with sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Now, why has this strengthened so much? Well, there's a couple reasons for it. One, the warmer than average sea surface temperatures. You have that warm water to fuel that hurricane. We also have it making its way toward land and when it does that that's why it has been strengthening and three we don't have the wind shear that wind shear which is the winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere help break the hurricane apart well we don't have that and that is why it has intensified and it is now making landfall as a major category for hurricane christy and so let's just talk about Stephanie, since there's a lot of people watching with us who are right in the path of this hurricane. I'm gonna bring up our XRAD shot here just so we can actually see that continuing to move. Uh, let's talk about the path of this storm because it is always changing for you guys when you're tracking Ida. Yes, and as it made landfall, it is moving to the northwest currently at 13 miles per hour. Ida was recently uh, just south of Grand Isle, Louisiana, and then it made landfall, moving to the northwest, and there are many threats associated with this Category 4 hurricane. We are expecting storm surge anywhere between 10 to 20 feet up to 15 inches of rain which means flooding now we could even see some isolated spots of rain hit 20 inches so this is a major hurricane we're seeing the heavy rain the flooding we are also seeing those winds prior to this making landfall we saw those wind gusts up to 100 miles per hour even before it made landfall so these are dangerous winds and that's why people need to be staying indoors in addition to that, you see those outer bands on the radar that can cause widespread tornadoes. That's why there are tornado watches in effect as well, spanning all the way from the panhandle of Florida in Pensacola through New Orleans. So tornadoes are a possibility as well.